and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the finale for the Once Upon a Pan project pan that I created for the Fantastic Ladies. As always, the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group will be linked down below and the playlist will be up in the cards for you. I didn't actually technically hit goal on anything in this particular project, but the reason for that is because I picked long items or items that I knew would take me a while to finish because I was kind of preparing some items in order to be able to pan them in the future. So just bear that in mind that I never actually meant to finish any of these particular items. I just wanted to get some really good progress on so that when I do go to pan them in the future, I can actually hit goal on them a lot quicker or a lot more efficiently. So the first item in this project was for Emma Swan and she's the savior. So that was a product that saves the day. And for that, I picked this. This is the Your Good Skin Anti-Shine Base Lotion. And I got up to this line here. This is a product that moves upwards. So this is the progress marks here. This is where we started and this is where we are finishing. The next item was for Henry Mills and that was the sun, something that you couldn't live without. And I picked the Too Faced Peach Perfect Translucent Setting Powder, which I talked about before that if they ever discontinued this, I'd cry and they have actually discontinued it as far as I'm aware. So I didn't quite cry, but I'm not happy about it. I can tell you that much. Okay, so I can't quite get this to line up with the line, but you're just gonna have to trust. Oh, there we go, it's lined up. Okay, so this is where we're finishing on this, at that bottom blue line there. So I used a good maybe half a centimeter's worth of product in this project, which for a translucent powder that normally takes me over a year and a half to finish isn't that bad. I'm really happy with the progress that I made on that one. The next one was for Snow White, and that was the Teacher, something white or red. And for that, I picked the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist, and this is the progress on that one. So we started here and we got down to here. So it's about half, just under halfway, which I'm not mad about. I tried to use it more, but you can't overuse a product like this because it just messes with your makeup and gets in your eyes and stings and stuff. So it's not good to overuse this product. So I did what I could with it basically. The next one was for Prince Charming and that was something reliably good and that I picked a mascara, which I finished. So at the beginning when I said I didn't finish anything, that was kind of a lie, but I'm not really counting that because everything else I didn't finish, so. Regina Mills was the badass, something that makes you feel like a queen. And for that, I actually picked a different lipstick, but then I rolled this one in. This is the Bella Pierre Kiss Proof Lip Cream in the shade 40s Red. And I used this maybe once, so I can't tell you the progress on this because there's no windows or anything, so. The next one was Mr. Gold. And this one's actually annoying to me because I was and have been inches away from hitting pan on this bronzer and I still haven't hit pan. I can't believe that we can still see rings and I have not hit pan yet. It's just every time I dip my brush in here, I think that I'm gonna hit pan and I just don't. It's gonna live with me forever, I think. Not happy about that one. And the last two items then, one was for Belle and that was the bookworm, so something that you liked the reviews of and for that I picked the Soph Times Revolution eyeshadow palette and I picked this shade here which I used maybe once the entire project so that is the progress there and the last item was for Killian Jones and that was something pirate treasure ship related and for that I picked a shade from my Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry and I picked the shade Buried Treasure which is this shade in the middle here so that's everything for this project. I just want to take a moment to thank every, every single person who signed up to do this project. I really, really appreciate you joining me on this and I'm looking forward to seeing your finales. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye.